There, there. Sometimes I get enmeshed. I mean, I feel like life is netting me in. There's no place to go. There's a wall on every side. And I feel trapped. Don't you? Well, if you do, maybe it's time to make a plan. Yes, a plan. Write down the steps of your plan as far as where you want to get in your future. Give yourself a little time, maybe six months or a year. Put your objectives down, what you want to accomplish, especially in the spirit or in the works of Elohim. And put that list up on your refrigerator for you to see every day. There's a very good chance, in fact, an 80% chance that within a year, all those things will come true for you. Of course, if you're realistic and you're writing down your plan in the name of Yahweh. Now, I have a couple of scriptures to kind of verify this for you. And the first one is from Proverbs, a book that I don't look in very often because I'm not very wise. But this says, trust in Yahweh with all your heart. Lean not upon your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Yes, that's Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. And indeed, that is a very good foundation for making your plan to get out of the slough of despondency. Next, Philippians. Oh, yeah, we can't pass up Paul here today. 4 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent, or praiseworthy, think about such things. And do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what Elohim's will is for you. That is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. We find that in Romans 12, of course, verse 2. Let's go to the Torah. Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. Yahweh turn his face toward you and give you peace. But I'm not done yet. Think about your plan and listen to the advice here in Proverbs 16.3. Commit to Yahweh whatever you do. And listen, he will establish your plans. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, O Father, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Psalm 143, 8. And all right, give me leave just for two more. Remember, we're doing this in connection with our plan. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for Yahweh, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Father as a reward. It is the Master Messiah you are serving. Colossians 3, 23 through 24. And we'll end up with these passages where we started. Proverbs 3, 3 through 4. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on a tablet of your heart. Post them up on your refrigerator. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of Elohim and humankind. Hey, I think tomorrow's the day, if not this afternoon, that I get my little stubby pencil and a piece of paper, 
and start writing my new plan for the next year. I have plenty of plans, but to organize those and put them up where I can see them and be reminded of them all the time, I have in the past felt myself unenmeshed, unmired in the world and rather moving upward, higher and higher in the theme and in the plan of my Father in heaven who loves me. Amen.